there is an assault of darkness listen over the body of christ and let me tell you this many people in this country do not know how to prosper god's way and that includes men of god listen to me i have a responsibility to teach you the truth many people do not know how to prosper god's way and right now that the systems that provide for things like corruption and the rest the civilization of the world is making men more vocal now the things they could not say before they can now say that means if the truth is not taught the church alongside the territory is in trouble there are many men today who became rich by stealing and investing they don't know anything they cannot mentor you to be wealthy they only stole money from some political scoffers and then had that money and had a business partner who helped them to invest the money and now they are rich you may call them businessmen you may call them millionaires and billionaires but they have negotiated something they cannot raise another generation so right now there's confusion people love god but they are hungry hunger is moving like the angel of death are we together now one by one is meeting families some of you as you are seated right here if i told you stand up let me give you a prophecy that tomorrow will change your financial life you will be surprised that without your will you will find yourself standing up that's to tell you how hard this thing is becoming are we together there are students probably sitting here now that it will take the grace of god i cannot tell you literally without exaggeration hundreds of text messages by people apostle help our family our rent our this apostle we just finished three days dry you see it there that thing is supposed to be a mockery to the name of the lord we just finished three days dry and god could not solve our hunger problem and then the people continue to contemplate what kind of god is this oh and satan says that's exactly what i want because let me tell you when come sam when sam continues to say help me help me and i say i cannot help him one day he will stop calling me he stops calling me because someone else has held his hand and says let's go to the mountain you can't keep begging forever let me show you give me your soul and i will give you tea and bread he will try it one year and it will not work he will say okay go i will come back he will wait till the hunger increases and say i'm still here a day will come that hunger will hit you and like esau you will say please what is a portage what, what do you think happened to esau do you not know that satan waited until esau was hungry satan always comes to men when they are hungry he waits until you are hungry then he comes with his suggestion it's a business strategy any businessman will tell you that people don't negotiate at the point of convenience you wait until there is a need then you say okay here i am again i told you to sell me the land you say it was four hundred thousand. okay it's because you have food when the economy hits you then i bring 250 cash and then you say kai my wife what did you say that just bring this thing that's what satan does so as a young student who is being rewarded by your parents you don't sow yet you reap and then you are laughing and say all oh, this finance thing i don't i don't mind and then the next thing you see a lady and you want to marry her and satan says exactly let the plan work he will help facilitate your marriage not because he likes your marriage he knows that when you are married a child will come and the reality will dawn on you now you marry as a prayer warrior and a war giant and then your wife says my husband sorry my parents are coming and we need a place to keep them am i god am i the only person on earth see that and before you know it your life begins to be in shambles one day you will find yourself browsing the internet mantras for wealth enter you, you will never believe you would have done that zodiac sign the palm of my hand what does it mean let me know whether they cost me from bed and they say put your age and you say I, I don't even i'm not sure they told me i'm 30 but the way i'm suffering is as if i'm 40. let me try 40 and see you see that 
you are laughing but you know you do it because it is the pain how many prayer leaders how many pastors by the grace of god send me text messages all the time saying apostle i don't i'm, I'm about to give up people may not know they just see me praying and preaching but i'm tired let me tell you the truth i say it before god and i say it truthfully this challenged me because i said it means there's something wrong let me tell you this if you sit down and see your child dying you will not know when you will do something you never believe you cannot do you may not do it for yourself was it not two women that ate their children what made them eat their children hunger they ate one whole child a mother that cannot forget her suckling child didn't cut herself they would have cut one leg at least the person is still alive but they ate the baby alive and the next day it was to eat the child look at the from genesis to revelation see what hunger did to men study what hunger did to men from genesis to revelation was it not because of hunger israel went to egypt who took them to egypt not demons god's covenant people went to satan they said buy us money failed hunger can take men from israel to egypt Are there not places that some of us are walking today that you sit down and say, but why should I be walking here? I know what happens in this corporation. I know that God is not glorified. I know they are serving the devil. I know that the products and services they are involved in, my, it violates my faith. But the day you talk to your husband or wife that I think I should live here, the day you say that thing again, it's with the back of my hand I will slap you. Did you see the last PTA letter of the child? And Satan says, that's it. And a time will come, out of that pain and frustration, the young lady will call her ex-boyfriend and say, just to know if you are fine. He said, lie, hunger, taking men from Israel to Egypt. Are we together? This is what I saw coming to Nigeria. This is what I saw coming to Africa. I saw a time, a not too distant time, when hunger is driving people to do things you cannot believe. Because the many doors of corruption were just closed. This is what I saw in my vision. And because most men only corrupt, they steal and share. And then they steal and share. Then when you get your own, you quickly manage it well. But now that the door is closed, people are saying, what do we do? And I saw people going to this woman to say, I need members. If I don't get members, where will I get offering? And then where will I get tight to be able to survive as a church? So Babylon, let's negotiate. Bring members to get more overflows. My soul will be what will be in exchange if you ever say this cannot happen you are joking do you know the desperation do you know what men can do when they are desperate read your bible and see what they were willing to go back to egypt when they were hungry they left egypt i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed when they were hungry they said we remember we remember the garlic we hunger will make you forget the promised land hunger will make you love your yesterday more than your tomorrow i remember when i had this boyfriend i wasn't going to heaven but i was in heaven on earth now that i gave my life to christ and left this guy look at how miserable my life is oh let us go back there is garlic there is cucumber is it not in your bible and onions at least we have food to eat. Moses, we are hungry. Was it not on account of supply that Moses missed the promised land? Have you forgotten that they were thirsty and they needed water and they had been nagging at Moses? No leader can survive a hungry people. I don't mean spiritually hungry. They will nag at you and disturb you day and night. You know, there are people who come to my house they just come and knock. They knock the gate and stand there. I just open the door and they say, I'm hungry. Sometimes they come as a group. 
group of children and just knock and stand there. Do what you would do with us. We are hungry. That's what happened to Moses. And Moses was, God told him, speak to the rock. He was human. Your humanity plus hunger is not good. And he struck the rock. And God said, no, this is it. You are not going to the promised land. It was hunger that made them build an idol. They said, Moses, we are tired. We are not sure that is this your God you saw in the bush that brought us out. Please, Aaron, come. Put jewelries together. We will sacrifice our gold. Build us an idol so that we will dance and say you are the one who brought us out of Egypt. Was it not on account of hunger many parents now stop going to church? And they say, where was God when they sacked me from Railway Corporation 1999? Where was God when I was crying with my sick child on the bed, needing 150,000 to... I, I prayed and I called on pastors, they prayed and I watched my child breathe his last breath on something that could be solved. Don't talk to me about church again. You come to preach and they show you the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and tell you, look, before you were born, I was a prayer coordinator. Hunger made me leave the place of God to Egypt. You don't control people by controlling them. You control them by controlling the economy of their territory. The rich rule it over the poor and the borrower will always be slave to the lender. You will thank me for what I'm teaching you tomorrow. You will thank me. Because you are listening to this message for your children. You are not just listening for yourself. It will take a selfish and a wicked person to not listen to these truths. Then don't have children. Because woe betide any man. I say this respectfully to our parents and the elderly people here. But most of our parents made this mistake. And that is the the mistake that has produced a negative history for many of the young people seated here looking at me. It was hunger that created the episodes of pain that we do not even want to remember about our lives. Don't transfer that to your children. Hunger made people to marry those who are not the will of God. Hunger made people to be relocated to geographic territories that was not the will of God. Hunger made people to change their age. You will see somebody 50 years by instincts. You know this person is 50 years. He said, no, he's 27. He, he, you, you see that? How many footballers have their true age? I'm sorry, so you don't think I'm just talking. That's what hunger can do. How many people join occultic fraternities? The fact that they are growing in, I hope I'm right. I heard that early this year. They were stealing ladies underwears or something like that now listen that is not a good news is to tell you that men are not ashamed to prosper did you hear what i said let a lady pile her clothes and say you should wash and you see if you are angry but the native doctor said go and carry not not the head tie carry the underwear and bring it and the man is not embarrassed you can pick that underwear as a graduate, as a bubble, and bounce with it to a shrine because you are desperate for prosperity. Which one is easier, to believe God or to do that nonsense? 